we do, but, but, which is but, okay. but we are trying yeah. to persuade but you it's to okay. think okay. to learn from, from each other so all right. that you understand what tactics are we supporting. Uh, okay, direct, let's go straight to them. Let's just yes. go straight to them. All right, yes. the discussion is still picking. Let's just go straight to the director. Yes. Director, yes. So, <laughs> let me tell you, right. there are two things I want to say before Jesus comes in. Eh? And by the way, welcome back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, so, Victor. There are two things I want to say to yes, my doctor, good right. brother, Kitonga, yeah. and I, but I wish him very Let's well. start from chapter six where you Yes. So, you see, like I said, one of the things that is special about our constitutional democracy mm. is the creation of Chapter 6. And by the way, mm. it is the only constitution in the world, the only constitution in the world, and I, and I participate in a couple of uh, constitution-making processes in a number of countries mm -hmm. in Africa, that has dedicated an entire chapter on what is called leadership and integrity, meaning mm. Kenyans wanted a certain type and character of leader. A person, when they occupy that office, it he, he gives respect to that office. You know, he does not demean that office. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So that, so that when, we, when, when, like the way we say when we go to church, mm -hmm. we respect our priests, mm -hmm. our pastors, you know, mm -hmm. we revere them. Mm -hmm. That's the same, same thing that Kenyans wanted. Now, mm -hmm. when someone like William Ruto comes to tell us that uh, he does not share in the failures of Jubilee, which are these failures? Why can't he say Jubilee has failed ABC? Because today he's on a salary courtesy of Jubilee government, Jubilee Party, right. you know, is on taxpayers because of Jubilee. He is one of the people who actually promised Kenyans, mm -hmm. in three months' time, there will be a stadium in, 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 in Wate. So in six months' time, mm -hmm. in nine months' time, mm -hmm. in this and that, he promised all these things. If he has not delivered those things, integrity calls on, on him to quit. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell my brother, uh, Gitonga, just as and I will present ourselves to Kenyans at the opportune time. Right. Okay? And I want Kenyans to interrogate the ideas that Justice and I are putting on the table. Mm -hmm. And I will invite my brother Yagitonga to read a book called um, A Team of, Team of Rivals, mm -hmm. The Political Genius of Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Abraham Lincoln in the United States was not a popular president, but he was competing with other uh, presidential uh, candidates. Yes. Some of them were very strong on matters of defense. Mm -hmm. Like one of them was called Hans, was very strong on matters of education. Mm -hmm. Another one was strong on foreign policy mm -hmm. and all that. But when Abraham Lincoln won the presidency, because he was a general guy, mm -hmm. he, was gen he was full of generalities, mm -hmm. but he did not have tangible, strong uh, you know, uh, proposals on, on matters that affected America. Mm -hmm. Yes. What did he do? When he, won the, he was declared the president of the United States of America, he said, listen, I think Justice had a mm. very strong point mm -hmm. on matters health. Mm. Gitonga had a very strong point on matters defense because we need to defend ourselves. He invited them. And that's how they became a team of rivals. Yes. But for them, what they did, uh, Victor, they placed the country first. They placed the United States first, mm -hmm. not themselves. Mm -hmm. They said, if Gitonga Justice can join me in cabinet. Bring expertise. Expertise. Right. Then we will serve the yeah. American people properly. Mm -hmm. I wish we could go that way mm -hmm. in this country we call Kenya, that yes. we all love. Mm -hmm. So that we stop this crap and nonsense of saying mm -hmm. it's a two-horse race, mm -hmm. when we do not even see what ideologies are these individuals actually expounding. Actually, I need to uh, just, uh, uh, yes, I mean, uh, uh, but, uh, uh, bubble, I mean, uh, bust that bubble of a uh, two-horse two race. And uh, I think some, sometimes it happens to those who are leaning in terms of understanding mm -hmm. the political process or the dynamics of uh, wars, mm -hmm. how they normally happen. If you sit with the military, military, they'll tell you that in military they have combatants. Mm. And they're very good. And in the combat we know where you must be very strong, yeah. guarded with the metal, like Goliath of the Gath, eh? mm. and, and the spear and the shield, and, and making a lot of noise. Eh? <laughs> like, you know, the Ga Goliath was abusing, he insulted the Israelites for 40 days. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, there was no one to actually address or confront Goliath for 40 days. No one. And then they sent him. <coughs> there was also, uh, there's also artilleries where you fight, and then uh, with the horse riders as well. But there's also slingers. Mm. And uh, sometimes uh, slingers are uh, uh, they're least studied mm -hmm. in, in, in combat. And uh, David happened to be one. And a slinger, apparently, if you go back down uh, history lane, you realize even the Romans have uh, recorded the effect, uh, how dangerous slingers were. Actually, slingers are equivalent to shorthand guns today. Yes, snipers. Which you can't, yes, you can't just confront like that. Mm. And uh, of course, snipers, as you mentioned, mm. you hardly see them, mm. but they are lethal. Mm -hmm. 
So when you are in a, a combat or a victory and <laughs> you, you only see one aspect, I think this is why Goliath was easily taken away. Yeah. And the, the, the he benefit, was he was the benefit mm -hmm. these tactics yes. of politics have enjoyed mm -hmm. in our political space is because there have be, been no alternatives. Mm -hmm. So the, we don't have to be same old, same old. Let me tell you, uh, when they rushed to uh, Bomas to go and pass BBI, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we were not there. Actually, I was at uh, Orupak, no one covered. Were you invited? Well, I was not going there. After reading that thing, I knew it is illegal. Actually, I went to court why straight did, away. Why did nobody? And today, no, I went to court. I petitioned. I'm the one yes. who petitioned boundary limitation. Yes. You chose not to see me mm -hmm. because you are busy looking at the, combat, the combat, combatants yes. who have even failed and still mm -hmm. you are sanitizing and mm -hmm. glorifying them and lif mm -hmm. lifting them up. Mm -hmm. My point is uh, the tactics uh, of uh, winning votes. And that's more so, and that's what we could have been even focusing on, uh, Victor. Yeah. Because we should be talking about why moral values are not working. Is it our education system? Can we address it? Uh, we should be talking about this high inflation. Why are we ta are taxes going up? Mm -hmm. What are we to be doing mm -hmm. in tables like this? Not throwing names that dis dis desecrate mm -hmm. a holy, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, a platform like this, my mm -hmm. friend. Mm -hmm. Naming people who actually have been the root causes of our oh, problem, problem in such a place where we should be addressing root causes. I think that is actually undermining a table like this uh, to bring the names of Ruto and Raila, mm -hmm. uh, where we need to be focusing on solutions. Mm -hmm. If they're men enough, they would be sitting here mm -hmm. and addressing it themselves. And if they're not here, let's and address they will, matters Juma, on the table. Juma, they will never even come here exactly. even Victor today invited them. Because they and are not able Victor. to be accountable. <laughs> they will not be able <laughs> right, to articulate right issues mm, right they will be doing. And Ruto and tell them come to exactly. Good Morning Show. Yes, they will not. And face the Kenya. Right. Yes, I, I, I will, I will, I will. yes. <laughs> and we sit down like this and face. The so, Victor, yeah. on the yes. issue... I will come back to you briefly. On the issues of candidacy, I tell you... Uh, there's legal, uh, legal provision on how you need to vie for various seats mm. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And we can't glorify impunity. The individuals who have been uh, subjecting Kenyans in, into a campaign mode, ear in, ear out. Mm -hmm. And they are violating outrightly. Yeah. Yeah. To a point that even the names that you're mentioning, uh, if anything, if you had conscience, that guy would have resigned. Exactly. Why is he still drawing uh, And I think that's uh, why chapter salary. six, uh, we, we are privileged enough that we exactly. have that Terry here. Why is he still so drawing salary, salary from Kenyans? One second, the crafters of the constitution yes. were vetting and the, you know, the due process yes. should be taken. But yes. <coughs> just as we, we just sweep it under the carpet. The we way can't afford said. when we are on the table like this, we do not sweep anything under the table. Yes. We must put them to account. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can lie to others. Uh, all the time, but not to us, <laughs> because we watch them and we said, let the truth stand. So what if what, what do you stand for as Justice and Freedom Party? The yeah. current Jubilee government, if anything, actually mm. in around a year ago, I called for the disbursement of uh, Jubilee government. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, we had a state of confusion, and we still have, where uh, public resources are not managed uh, properly. Mm -hmm. The constitutional provision for the opposition uh, they're not uh, oversighting and they're not uh, functioning in their role. Yes. And the government actually is in opposition and some uh, they've even neglected their uh, manifest on their yeah. agenda. We don't they're even no know what they're implementing. Follow, uh, agenda four. Mm. So as we talk right now, we are in actually uh, in uh, uh, things that are not of help to the show right. or the intention we had. Now, okay. Victor. In two seconds. In I'm two seconds. just informing him. Okay. Uh, I have aspirants in Embo right now. Mm. And various, uh, various aspects. And I, 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 I'm sorry, it's not you. And I'm willing to have you on board as party, <laughs> as, as Justice and Freedom Party. And we did not get them in Embu because we didn't go to Embu. You understand? Mm. Okay. Uh, we are not here well, just uh, for uh, intellectual rhetoric, uh, which are abstract, which are dishonest, mm. which are leading us to nowhere. If that is what we are uh, waking up in the morning to engage, here, uh, uh, engage on here, Victor, then there's no, no need of wasting Kenyan time. Mm. Somebody else can use, utilize this airtime. Right. And, and, and Victor, okay. and so if just you're going to take us in that course, then we would uh, just, let just you have a show mind. and just also just call us for a show right. that is dignified <laughs> and have manners right. and just decorum no, of addressing issues that we uh, okay. allow have called us with this. Allow me to go to Kenya School of Government. Can I kid over to Victor? In one second. Back in the studio, gentlemen. And Victor, right. You know, I just heard Beatrice there say that uh, there will be a commemoration of some launch of something called Margaret. Is it Margaret Kenyatta something? Yes. 
I was just wondering, are there no other women in Kenya that can actually be named after some of these, uh, <laughs> you know, on a very serious note? Because you have got Margaret Kenyatta Road, Margaret this, Margaret that, Margaret that. Surely, there, there, are, there are many mothers in this country. And, and for me, I want to say that, you know, two things. Dr. No, but I'm, I'm, just, being, I'm just being honest. Seriously. I mean, we could as well just uh, even okay. do a balloting and say which mother can we uh, yes. dedicate a certain... Well, at least okay, some today, public okay. participation. Some even public participation. <laughs> oh, how, was all right. this, how was this decided? Anyway, okay. Uh, I, I, let, me, let, let me ask you. You are the no, draft of the Constitution <laughs> and the issue of two-thirds gender, <laughs> issue of two -thirds gender <laughs> rule is is a teething issue. It, it is. It is, and let me tell you, to this particular it point, is, it is a it is a failure of implementing the constitution of Kenya. Yes, mm -hmm. there was a Ju room for Jubilee that. Jubilee government. I mean, let me. I mean, I was in the team that wrote this country's constitution. Yes. One of the things that we did deliberately is to say we want to give women of Kenya a voice. We started by creating 47 seats, mm -hmm. what we call the women representative. Yes, because we wanted women in Kenya to actually go to parliament with seats that will not compete with men, mm -hmm. but we wanted them to use those seats to address some of the most fundamental issues that affect women. Yes. I must tell you, I'm a bit disappointed with women uh, parliamentarians, even though we create those seats for them. I would have wished to see women, for example, pick something mm. like uh, uh, reproductive health, mm. health care, yes. for example, that affects women and girl, girl child, and actually run with it. Mm. But instead of what I'm seeing, I see a lot of these women, and I say this with tremendous respect, a lot of them, they just say, oh, we are dancing on, they are dancing on these political podiums uh, you know, I, I, for, for, for their party leaders. When I came with Punguza Mizigo bill, one of the things that I really wanted to do was to equalize representation in parliament mm. and said, scrap all these 349 uh, MPs. Let's have one woman, one man from each of the 47 counties of Kenya mm. so that we create 50-50. Why did I do that? I said that because I saw that government of Uru Kenya from 2013 has, act, has actually been disrespectful of women. Because they never even met a third in cabinet alone, mm -hmm. up to now. Mm -hmm. Not even a third, by the way, of women are represented in cabinet. Yeah, the, which was challenged by yes. the former CJ. Not even a third of youth. Yes. And that's why for us at, at, at Third Way Alliance Kenya, mm -hmm. we've decided that one of our principles of the proposal we we'll take to 2022 mm -hmm. is that we are saying women and youth must take over government. And uh, my challenge to women today, this being a very important day for them, yes. is don't tell us you're the majority in this country. Mm -hmm. So what? use your numbers yeah mm -hmm. seek leadership because mm -hmm. i see women leadership right from conception when a woman conceives of a child the way they take care of that child that is the leadership birth, itself. I, that mm -hmm. for me is leadership mm -hmm. bringing up that child up to like the men we are today here mm -hmm. and i think even you victor next time Bana, mm -hmm. don't just invite men on a show like this yeah, you, you, you should also bring a woman That's a so, on my face. <laughs> <laughs> so let's practice some gender parity even at right. kbc okay. <laughs> noted but but just, on, on, just, on just, just okay. addition to the same yes actually i may not be very hard or harsh <laughs> on women in terms of participation in the political process mm. because uh, our political space have been hijacked mm. by certain uh, 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 you know is 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 trickling down all the, right, uh, all, uh, right, right all the way from uh, colonialist yes mm. and the benefit uh, beneficiaries of these institutions uh, are personalized uh, the democratic uh, space mm. Mm -hmm. with the populism where individuals actually have taken over institutions mm -hmm. you find that a person is the party mm -hmm. without a person there is no party mm -hmm. and that's why sometimes uh, we with all due respect we don't want to talk about certain names or certain individuals mm -hmm. because how they act is actually the opposite of the constitution mm -hmm. and and civilization so mm -hmm. some, sometimes we don't regard them as good leaders yeah. mm -hmm. because of how they are handling and even running their political spaces where people are rewarded with the political certificate uh, based on right now uh, Victor, mm -hmm. uh, some we are calling Bermuda Triangle because they are not satiable. People are pouring money, <laughs> <But, uh, you laughs> buying never, this nomination certificate, yeah. right, left, and center. Okay. And at the end of the day, mm -hmm. they are not given to uh, the people who, who deserves them. Uh, actual uh, uh, representative of the people mm. actually end up outside in the cold. Mm -hmm. But the psychophones who are able to shout, mm -hmm. who are able but cannot 
yeah. uh, uh, represent individuals cannot champion any bill or any issue. They're the ones mm. who are in. Mm. So at mm. the end of the day, we are judging our women unfairly okay. because the representation that they are having is not reflecting you know what the actual picture how many, or the, how true, many? Uh, the true capacity maybe, maybe or just the capability of the women to when they come point, in. Right. Right. I, I want to, I want to just briefly, briefly, to, briefly to pass to Gitonga, maybe to enrich your point. Eh? Right. Let's also challenge in our society. Mm -hmm. When women offer themselves for leadership, mm -hmm. let's listen to them. Yes, let's let's not them. make this like a man society only. Yes. Because it's also, it has a ripple effect. I know many women who offer themselves, mm -hmm. but because of how masculine our politics has been, mm -hmm. how violent our politics has been, so we also now want to challenge our society. Mm -hmm. When women offer themselves, Just give them a justice. chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hear them out because okay. these are people who brought us up. Because it's women who pushed uh, it's for us. important to be, you know, because at this yeah. particular point, I don't know how many women you are running against in Embu in Manyata constituency. Uh, none. None. Uh, for member Okay, of that now but, uh, clarifies what Dr. is but saying. But I think uh, I would like to actually challenge the political parties. It's yes. good we have two political parties here. I think on this issue of gender representation, mm. it starts with the political parties. Mm -hmm. And that's where we have failed most because. Uh, you find there's a lot of... I don't know which political party, because in my, in my political party, yeah. from my neck, we are 50-50. Yeah, just, just a minute. Actually, yeah, actually, yeah, as, as women are 60. Yes. But, but I want to say that mm. when it comes to giving these women opportunity yes. to run for political seats, because the women reposition is a position that, yes, it can be taken advantage of, and mm. at least they can bring some balance, but for us to feel the women leadership, mm. we have to have them in the highest of the highest of offices. Mm -hmm. We have to th have them as governors. Yes. We have to have them as senators and members of parliaments. And where it can start is on these nominations of political parties, whereby women should be given some sort of a, some, 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 some leeway mm -hmm. to actually get a good platform if somebody has good policies mm -hmm. and if somebody has good uh, Agendas yeah. for the people, mm -hmm. Victor. And, uh, if we want and that, to is, that is that is the point. If we want to where, respect women, eh, just let's change the lingua. Forget this thing of let's give them. No, you know, that's, that's, you know this language of I give you women. You have not understood me. No, I've no, no. But let's change giving the language. them platform. Okay. Yeah. I've said no. giving them platform mm -hmm. so that they can be able to compete with Mokonji, who has this, this idea, and another woman has this idea. The challenge is, it's a men's world, even in these political parties. Let's actually put it as it is very few women will get a chance and i think you'll find that uh, we'll always cry the same as we continue mm. because we have not looked at where we can start political parties are supposed to have a way of balancing gender from the start and i think uh, even in your in your bill mm -hmm. you had that some sort of a proposal yeah. on that line yeah. isn't it and i'm, I'm and surprised that women did not support me fully mm -hmm. i mean i wish they had supported <laughs> me <laughs> 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 just inform you what we've done on that in, in, in one <laughs> second yes actually right. as a party we've taken this one very, <laughs> I think very, just very, as very you're, very taking, you're taking a lot of my time no, 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 <laughs> as, a, as a party we've taken he's a presidential i'm just answering you because i'm just answering you because i have the answers here okay as a party we've addressed that and exhausted it conclusively i think that we I think have well, let's be more presidential now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take a break. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's be more presidential and take a break when we come back. We are still having this. You know, issues Thank to you. do with the gender parity will always be an emotive issue. So let's just take a break. We'll be right back to, def to finish Thank on you. the last bit of this discussion. We'll be right back. Yeah, that's Welcome back. We are on the last beat of this discussion with three gentlemen giving their best advice and, uh, you know, their input on this particular show. So let me finish with, uh, with Gitonga because he had a point. Uh, Gitonga, talking about something to do with representation before I go to the next and last chapter of this. So uh, as I was saying, I was saying that uh, the challenge with women in these political positions mm -hmm. is the weapons men use. Mm -hmm to actually abuse them and to throw them out of the race. Right. We use uh, issues of language of probably who has married who, mm -hmm. where have you been married? And that issue comes in and it becomes a challenge. So I was challenging the political parties yes. to ensure that in their code of conduct, we have, 
we are protecting women in terms of them, their name being maligned in mm. terms of the agenda and where they're married and what women represent. Right. That's what, that was my you know, all about Victor, ideology. Victor, yes. I don't think it is a, a problem with political parties because I don't have that problem in our, in our political in third way alliance Kenya uh, where I'm the party leader. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a societal problem. You know, it is yeah. voters' problem who now look at a woman and say, oh, you've been married, I don't know where, uh, you know, so you cannot run here. That's not a, a political party's issue. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's our own it's a society. Society, 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 our mentality. Mm -hmm. It's the way we view women. It's actually, it, 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 uh, the disrespect we seem to have for women mm -hmm. manifests itself during political quests. And, and, that, and for me, I think, rather than make it a political party, mm -hmm. let's now prick the conscience of society and say, by the way, you must respect women. Women as a, as a, are as good as, as, as men in, in many things. Mm. As a matter of fact, if you look at, for example, you know, the way uh, you know, we, we take care of our homes, if it wasn't really for women, sometimes I think uh, men were a bit cantankerous when it comes to certain yeah, issues. Actually, even the yeah. good book says that yeah. uh, you know, a Russian woman yeah. builds a home, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. a foolish one. Mm -hmm. breaks yeah. it down literally yeah. with yeah. her own hands okay gentlemen so the party nominations is coming uh in next month right yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's it's one of the hardest nuts to crack as party leaders i believe so and people say that once you have that party ticket you are as good as nominated you're good as elected mm -hmm. just as to start with you as a party leader of justice and freedom of party how many members do you have currently registered members of your party uh, well, uh, about 80,000 uh, members, right. if you look at uh, parties, of course, growing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, aspirants are also growing. Mm -hmm. uh, I've learned that uh, uh, aspirants, uh, uh, the Kenyan problem of people coming last minute, like actually this week, we're much more busier than mm -hmm. the last month. Yes. Uh, we're probably may be talking about uh, uh, having trained probably 300 uh, aspirants so far. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of... Uh, focus in respect to the Kenyan uh, the constitution and the constitution lay a lot of emphasis on persons with a disability mm. where I mean, our special interest group to put it correctly where women actually is part of the same category mm -hmm. we just launched persons with a disability league uh, justice and freedom party we had it launched previously women league yes and we, we've been partnering with various organizations, NDI, Oslo Foundation. Mm. Actually, the training just ended, uh, I think, two, day, yesterday, two days ago mm. in, in, in uh, Mombasa, where our women aspirants, actually, we're taking them through uh, uh, the understanding the yeah. electoral process. Yeah. So I that think, they're, I think they're that's fully one, one of the most uh, they understand uh, missing what, things, yes. even in the political parties, yes. that most of the aspirants are not taken through the party. They're not enabling them, and exactly. as a result, yes. uh, we, they are left to what is mentioning, the societal conditioning, mm. which, if you equip them well, they're able to withstand these things and change the societal mentality. Yes. As much, as well as we're doing this, because again, you know, I'm a bit uh, hesitant to also pick the activism role. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, a, a perspective that the Western use in separating the male, mm -hmm. again, is setting a male against the, ma uh, yeah. the, the, the women, where this gender is against the other gender, um, um, my emphasis should be that we should be having a total unified community mm -hmm. where people function together, yes. where priority is given to the best. As we're talking, we talk about representation of the interests of women, then women are best suited to mm. represent and vocalize the interests of women. And at this, uh, even, even as we pursue that still, uh, marriage should be uh, uh, I mean, uh, at the table. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you don't just throw it because so-and-so is a, is a slave queen or the other way, the way they are doing it uh, in other quarters. Mm. Uh, I hear there's a lot of board, boardroom to, I mean, a bedroom to boardroom, uh, which actually has abused <laughs> the women representation. Mm -hmm. There are women with dignity, women with character, women with guts yeah. who are able to articulate women's issues. Yes. And as a party, we are making sure, not just talking, if you look at our neck, by the way, women are about over over sixty percent of that neck, and yeah. they are serving very well. That's, if I can tell you, mm. uh, I, I've, I've never have dependable uh, partners like that. Mm. Okuo Kota, I know you had a lot of challenges in your party, mm -hmm. and uh, I, may, I can confirm to you that Justice and Freedom Party, over half a decade old, we've not have issues mm -hmm. because the majority of our leaders leadership is. And they're giving I'll, I'll me a very easy one. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why we had a challenge in our party. Right. 
because of the changes that we really wanted to bring to this country, yeah. uh, the Punguza Mizigo Bill mm -hmm. uh, was more popular than uh, that nonsense called BBI, mm -hmm. uh, Building Bridges Initiative. Mm -hmm. And uh, our proposal were very sound. But see, because again of the dominance <laughs> of, of politics in this country, so and, 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 and guys were touting me, oh, join BBI. I said, no, I cannot join BBI because mm -hmm. I don't see any value in BBI. Mm -hmm. BBI is about tribal politics, about individual. Mm -hmm. But Punguza Mizigo was actually going to transform this country from the world level. Mm -hmm. That's why we came up with the World Development Fund because we said this is the only way you can equalize this country speedily. You know, because many times when you have got a, a, an MCA who is not in good terms with the governor, mm -hmm. the people of that ward are denied. Money. So that's why we came with Punguza Mizigo. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the 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 uh, political pests yes. uh, invested my party. Mm -hmm. uh, they came in, they crawled in, mm -hmm. but eventually we are fumigating and cleaning the, cleaning it up. <laughs> and you started sanitization. We are, we are, we are, we are, sa we are sanitizing <laughs> it. <laughs> and uh, eventually, you see where they have ended. Yeah. You know, well, you know, we, we managed to remove the snitches mm -hmm. and rats in our, in our, in our party. Uh, but now the party is cleaning up and uh, we are ready to tell mm. our story to Kenyans, and our manifesto will still remain I'm, the I'm, Punguza Mizigo. I'm quite interested in understanding the, the issue of nomination because, mm. Gitonga, you know, you are running on a UD8 party. Yes. Okay? Yeah. What do you feel about nominations? Because it's, it's quite competitive, so to speak. Uh, first, I would like to tell you, Olo, that uh, for us to have democracy in this country mm. growing, and for us to have uh, ourselves calling ourselves a real democracy right where we are supposed to work on the democracy of this country is actually in the political parties mm -hmm. we have a challenge with the political parties not having any serious ideology mm -hmm. and they just have an individual who they idolize and who you're in good books with you'll go far mm -hmm. and uh, uh, that is where the problem starts mm -hmm. uh, I'm in the UDA party mm -hmm. and uh, I joined UDA number one because I feel they have a good ideology. Mm -hmm. The issue of political, I mean, the issue of uh, economic uh, transformation of this country mm -hmm. will not always depend on what happens in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need to have everything starting from all the way down there. Mm -hmm. And the Jubilee government came with a very good ideas, but they have never taken uh, shape because the implementation as it tickles down, it always uh, foils. Uh, in the nominations, uh, in the UDA party, I know nominations will be free and fair. And uh, uh, I know many well, people from can, outside, can just a minute, many people from outside <laughs> will say otherwise. But I have been there, I've seen how things are being done. Yeah. And I, I trust the process. And Victor. actually, I'm not alone in the UDA party. Was the, you know, was the I'll tell you the truth. In Manyata constituency, in Manyata the constituency we are close to, to four candidates. All right. And we, are, we sit down and look at how things will run okay. during nominations. Uh, uh, I know uh, my friends here will have a different view, but... <laughs> yeah. As I, long I, as actually I have a you, you, <laughs> as, as in, long in, as in, in two seconds, please. Yes, right. yes. As long as we have <laughs> political parties mm -hmm. that cannot be vibrant enough, and th there's a reason why UDA is attracting that many when, when uh, is the nomination uh, by them? many candidates. I mean, if you look at it right now, it's uh, it's uh, it's a party that has most of the the candidates falling in. Oh, yeah. Really, and th th that's the reason. <clears throat> I know. Uh, your justice party might not have a lot. I've heard you have only 80,000 members. <laughs> Victor, <laughs> so, Victor, okay. Victor, so Victor, I would like to... The reason why Victor, I asked... Today is the 8th, <laughs> today is the 8th of March, yeah? Yes. Yeah. 2022. Yes. I think I wanted to remember this day. We have an NDC. Because 15. our brother here yeah. will come here again crying that Ali Karangokwa is a nomination. No, Satan is in I want to wish you well. <laughs> the reason why, the reason why I asked objective. that question. <laughs> yeah. um, uh -huh. You know, UDA party, UDA party is a new party. Yes. And, and people, it has grown. And, and, okay, it's yeah. growing, all right. Mm. What really happens is that at the, at the nomination process, yes. there is a lot of of a cry there's a lot of you know name calling and what have you yeah the backroom dealings that's why most people say that mm -hmm. if you have got some strength you'll get that certificate mm -hmm. strength is an anonymous word that i want to use mm -hmm. money you'll 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 i, I don't know mm -hmm. but then you'll get that certificate yes. as a young person who yeah. is vying for that particular seat in yes. manyata constituency yes 
which one would you go for? Direct ticket, universal suffrage? Mm -hmm. Would you go for uh, negotiated democracy in Manyata constituency for that reason for maybe? No, everything boils down to popularity on the ground mm -hmm. because if you want to win a party ticket, you can win a party ticket, then at the ballot, yes. you get another person who is popular than you. But if it goes down to actually the majority, mm. and it is free and fair, mm -hmm. it is a clear assurance that even at the ballot, there is nothing that will change. Mm -hmm. So when we are going for nominations, we are not going for any negotiation, we are not going for anything, we are going to the ballot to get a direct ticket from the party mm -hmm. after the people have given their say. Okay. And that is it. Okay. Yes. You are accused. Yes. Well, uh, you see, uh, I don't want to talk about parties where sometimes uh, people think more with the stomach than the vision mm -hmm. <laughs> and ideology. And we, which, one, uh, which one do you go for, by the way, <laughs> as, just, uh, as Justice Freedom Party? <laughs> well, we go for people-centered uh, uh, approach mm -hmm. where you need a, a people's uh, person. Actually, our ideology is centered around the people Thank and you. the citizens. Popularity. And uh, as Ojeji Oteko said, that uh, the people have said, mm -hmm. that is what guides us. Mm -hmm. And you will know as a leader uh, who has the interests of the people at, at heart. And uh, whether they are popular or not, you can equip them and enable them to get yeah. there. But yeah. on ideology of the parties, uh, I vied to be a chairperson of PPLC, so mm -hmm. I speak for parties. And to register a political party in Kenya is not a child's not play. Easy. And the <coughs> constitutional requirement for you to be approved and be registered, mm -hmm. those who have not registered parties may just talk. Mm -hmm. And just to comply and have yeah. uh, even those 80,000 members, we know how some people also get those other extra numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen Kenyans uh, 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 crying, cry, crying yeah. loudly that, that some people Why? registered them illegally. Uh, mm. They did not register to those parties. Yeah, yeah. And even today, there is a news that uh, the register of political party has scrapped off 60,000, 600,000 uh, members from other register uh, political parties. Mm. Yeah, because people are registered in those political parties illegally. Mm. So I'd rather enjoy mm. my uh, uh, 80, genuine 80,000 who are mm. registered, mm. and I know I have 80,000, than thinking you have the 6 million who actually are illegally acquired. You understand? Mm. Mm. So from for a, you... From MPESA registers. Exactly. For you to <laughs> register a political party, a party must have a bylaws yeah. and a clarified objectives and manifesto, including vision, mission, and goal. Mm -hmm. So... And, uh, uh, and, uh, unless sometimes actually the problem is sometimes others just plagiarize mm. and they showcase just to pass. Mm. Yeah. But when the test of time comes, mm -hmm. and this is why you can stand here and say Jubilee government <laughs> has failed, yes. but the part of Jubilee government that mm. is failing is, is leading his party that is exp ex exalting. Mm. Uh, those are the contra in inconsistency we have to separate. Yeah. Uh, as Justice and Freedom Party, our main goal is to make sure that we have a robust economy. Mm. One major impediment to economic development is uh, non-functional institutions. And key enemy <coughs> to institutions where they don't function are personism and populism. Where populists want psychophones, mm -hmm. who don't want accountability, they don't want to be asked questions, they just want to be praised day and uh, yeah. morning, morning to night. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, then, and, then, and then personism are also the same, same. Mm -hmm. And that's why sometimes I was telling you the two horses they are presenting to us is like a fox and a wolf mm -hmm. to choose from who, who should eat us. Because you see a populist, you see a personist, yeah. whom we know at the end uh, will not respect institutions. And the moment institutions cease to function, then forget about economic development. That's why corruption <coughs> reigns. Mm. Yeah. That's why we have the challenges and the issues we are talking about in the road. Mm. And these run away uh, a value system that can, you cannot connect mm -hmm. to our, our, our societal roots. So if we do not address this and bring back the institutions to function, uh, then forget about it. And if you are still in the camp of a populism, I'm telling you, okay. it is high time to escape because uh, the know? destruction of the populist and the person is, <coughs> is know, coming you know and when the happens, hour comes... What really happens, <laughs> cutting the justice, most aspirants are even afraid to declare their standard actuary yes. because they're still waiting for that moment where they're going to get that certificate. It's mm -hmm. close to people's hearts and chests. And, that, that, and that's why yes. I, my advice to my young brother here, Gitonga, is that he needs to make uh, he needs to make uh, he needs to make a take a decision mm. that if you want to tell his story to the debe you know don't play ping pong 
uh, you know, in terms of these populist parties. Because the truth for the matter, like I said, mark this day, the 8th of March, maybe after, after a nomination, we will be coming here to Waipu Gitonga's, uh, you know. But, but I, want, I want to wish him well. Yes. Yeah, thank I want you. to wish okay. him well. That's but, but, if, <laughs> but if he was a wise man, <laughs> you'll be talking to Justice and myself here to give him a direct ticket so that he can tell his story. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. He, he can tell you his story. You can tell his story. But it's important. I have a rejoinder for that. I will give you time. But listen. Let me ask you this question. You know, at the end of the day, um, Political parties play a key and pivotal role, you know, in any election cycle because mm -hmm. uh, you you carry leaders to the ballot mm -hmm. at yeah. the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Do you think we can have a free and fair nomination? Yes. The key word is free it and is, fair. It, it is possible only if we respect, if, if a party puts on the table an ideology, a belief yes. in. I mean, mm -hmm. let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. You see... I follow the American politics very closely, especially mm. in the last general elec uh, last election. You know, the, the Democrats, for example, started with about 20 mm -hmm. or 22 mm. uh, candidates. And those 32 candidates debated each other mm. as, the, as, the, uh, you know, as guys were dropping down, but they never left their party. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, that's because they believe in the idea of social democracy. Mm. You that's know, good. there's a philosophy mm. uh, the, 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 the Democrats believe in. Now, in Kenya, people don't believe in ideologies. They don't believe even in their parties. Mm. What leads people mainly is the stomach. How do I get into that position so that I can feed myself? Yeah. And that's why in this country, we have commercialized politics. So, yes, it's possible to have free and fair election, but only if it's embedded in the rule of law, in a philosophy of a party, mm. in, in your own uh, belief as an individual, and if it is about selflessness, about service to the people. And that's why, again, we go back to the Constitution of Kenya and we say, you know, we have a chapter called uh, Leadership and Integrity. Mm. And the idea of that chapter is that actually it's a, it creates uh, servant leadership. Yes. Now, in Kenya, that's not the case. And that's why you can see our nomination will be so chaotic because mm. people are looking at the check at the end of the day. That's mm. why when people are elected, and yes, I hope uh, when my brother here get, makes it to parliament, he will only survive on his salary. Not uh, lie to Kenyans about sitting allowance, mm. I don't know, flying business class, mm. I don't know what. I mean, our politics is so commercial. And I wish, that's why I was trying to make uh, election uh, or representation unattractive. Mm. If you saw in Punguza Mizigo, mm -hmm. we're actually proposing to reduce the numbers, mm -hmm. uh, even cut a, a restrict salary, mm -hmm. because the idea then you go there and serve the people of Kenya. And, and that's what we are lacking. So when you see people scrambling and fighting and changing political parties at the last minute, because they have no belief, they yeah. don't even believe in themselves to begin with. Mm -hmm. You know, they have, they have no, um, no self-worth. So if there is self-worth, we believe in the rule of law, philosophy in a political party, mm -hmm. then it's possible for us to have free and fair election. Okay. If you look at, for example, the Democrats, uh, Joe Biden, now the current president of the United States of America, mm -hmm. was a product of about 20 plus aspirants. Right. And they all came to support him mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Yes. And he even picked one of them, That's competitors, it. Kamala That's Harris, right. to be the, the, the vice president. Mm -hmm. That's, those are people who believe in democracy, believe in ethos and values mm -hmm. in, in a political, uh, you know, uh, political party. I, I, I doubt we will be, a, look, Sorry to criticize you, my brother, mm. but you say you belong in UDA. Yeah. UDA currently is, I don't know whether you believe, we don't know what it is, you know? Uh, <laughs> you have one person who says, I'm a party mm. leader in this new party formation. Mm. But our laws are very clear. You must belong to one political party right. at any one time. Mm. You cannot have two, you cannot be a member in two political parties. Mm. Your presidential candidate... Even legal is not... Even legal is not even sound. <laughs> he, he says he's in UDA. He has used our, our state resource, mm. our state house, mm -hmm. to recruit members of a political party. Major. You know? Yeah. Uh, and yet, he says he's under Jubilee government, which was the party that was uh, now formed the government. So this is dishonesty in politics. And really, I wish the registered political parties are the nuts and yeah. Mm. You know, to really say no, you cannot belong in UDA. Mm. By now, a registered political party should have actually uh, deregistered William Ruto from uh, uh, from Nini or, or or ODM. Mm. I don't know what what, what Azim, Azimio is. Yeah. So let's bring some but discipline. It's okay. Don't let him know. Those are the folders we'll use to. <laughs> that's that's uh, but just, just but, but see, even legally speaking, eh, <laughs> it is so wrong. So that's why I'm saying to you, mm. yes, to answer your question, Victor. Sorry to be so long. Uh, looking at the way things are being done, mm -hmm. even the fact that we disrespect the, disrespect the rule of law, mm -hmm. political parties act, yeah. I don't see any fair, free and fair okay. election in the nomination. And that's okay, why my I'm, brother I'm here, told I have a Karangwa, yes. and mm -hmm. uh, if he was wise, <laughs> she talked to Justice or myself, <laughs> no, give him no, a direct <laughs> ticket. I, I, I only have five minutes, <laughs> but uh, let me start with you, Gitonga, as you give your final word. Yes. 
you are <coughs> facing Manyata constituency. Yes. Um, the three of you, you are facing Kenyans mm -hmm. for particular seats. Wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. When you go to Manyata on that particular day, assume it's a day after you've been sworn in. Yes. Give me your vision. Well, I have a lot of things uh, that I want to work on. Right. And uh, as a youth and a young person, one of the challenges we are facing in this country is the joblessness mm. in the youths. And uh, a simple thing like having a database of how many people are looking for jobs mm. in the constituency, constituency yes. we don't have that. Mm. So first thing I'm going to do is create an office immediately mm -hmm. that will have everybody who has graduated coming in and uh, having him in the database that is looking for a job somewhere. Right. And after that now, we are going to make policies of how to get these people into various jobs, places. Mm. I also have a serious program that I want to start that is involving a uh, free feeding program mm -hmm. for primary schools. And that is a project that I think it's fair for parents because when Kibaki started the, the free primary education, mm -hmm. he never said something should be paid. Mm. So you find that even primary school these days, they are paying uh, school fees mm. and people are chased, uh, ch uh, being chased away to get uh, school fees. So we need to actually have a system that ca we can improve on the free primary okay. education. Mm -hmm. We have also an idea on the issue of uh, women fund, youth fund and WESO fund. Mm. And these funds are not getting to the right people and the right groups who mm -hmm. And that's why I'm saying we need to create even applications whereby groups that are seated somewhere in a place called Kidemu mm -hmm. or somewhere in a place called uh, Mbuvore mm -hmm. can sit down, get a phone, get the application and apply for those funds. Just like we are getting Fuliza that the president owns. All right. You know, we have to digitize everything mm -hmm. as we have said we, we want to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, and among other things. All right. But I want to say something on the political parties. In, in, in 20 seconds. In 20, 20 seconds. seconds, yes. Now, the challenge has been these many political parties that mm. we are having mm. are actually confusing people. And it's important to always boil down into ideologies that face this country. Yes. And I'm happy with uh, my friend with the Justice Party. That is... Even the name itself mm -hmm. tells you the focus in is getting justice for our people. Mm -hmm. uh, Third Way Alliance, uh, I don't know the ideology specific, but whatever you have done for the public can be seen to drive along social justice. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah. So those are things that we can put. I would tell these people to come and recruit uh, what level uh, uh, whatever p uh, p p uh, party members, mm -hmm. so that we can have a Even party you are thinking that you is, uh, to JFP. The, you know, <laughs> we'll just you get. Over to but right. me, I belong to the UDA party. <laughs> <laughs> we have sold the UDA party to the people <laughs> okay. in Manyata constituency. It, party, yeah? it is the yeah. most popular party right now mm -hmm. in Embu County. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you one thing: there is nothing like uh, losing for nominations on my side, Thank because you. the people are with me. The party is with me, <laughs> and we are going to... You know, I believed I would be the president of Kenya in 2017. Thank you, sir. Always on the way. Yes, Dr. You are putting short time. You know, I believe that I, I believe that I was going to be the president of Kenya in 2017 until the, the vote was counted. But anyway, <laughs> be that as it may, yeah. uh, one of the things that I really do believe in uh, going forward is the whole notion of transformative leadership. Mm. Because leadership ought to be able to chaperone a country, to steer a country to a level of prosperity. And then you have to be able to address all those <coughs> challenges. Yes. Health, education, theft of public money. Mm -hmm. At Third Way Alliance Kenya, we don't talk of corruption. It is theft of public money and public resources. Mm -hmm. um, so I believe in transformative leadership because it's only a leadership of a country from the very top that can actually uh, set certain standards, even in terms of value, how we behave in society. And I think for me, uh, we, we lack that in this country. Mm -hmm. And uh, really one of my passion is that um, should Kenyans give me an opportunity to lead this country, they will see how leadership under and, 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 and the Kuro Accord or Third Way Alliance Kenya yes. will actually change certain aspects in this country. For, I remember, for example, my argument with Raila Odinga when he was opposed to our BBI, I mean our Punguza Mizigo, because he was promoting BBI. And I remember asking him, Jacob, you know, I've been to your village in Bo Uko Bondo, Uko Dani. Mm. I've seen poverty. I can smell poverty. Third Way Alliance Kenya was proposing the World Development Fund mm. so that people in a ward can then say, okay, this is exactly how much amount of money, and we are proposing even 100 million per every ward, right. okay? 
let the people in our world see, see okay what are our priorities mm. that for me was the idea of transforming that society mm. and it was going to bring equality in Kenya mm. within a very short time mm. but why they opposed it I don't know and I remember asking them why are you opposing me mm. bringing actually transformation in your very 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 village yes. and that for me is what I believe in if you look at our proposal to Pumuza Mizigo we are going to save this country about 3.5 trillion Kenya shilling just from corruption alone and downsizing government yeah. reducing the cost of governance in this country and then rechanneling that money to education mm -hmm. to health to you know to better making institutions that serve people mm. Kenya better mm -hmm. and we wanted to see value in representation mm -hmm. so these are some of the things that I really do believe in yeah. because when you look at this political formation and the big rallies they hold mm -hmm. you know Victor I don't know about you. you but I struggle mm -hmm. to hear what they will actually do in terms of transforming changing the lives of Kenyans thank you Thank you. Yes, Justice. It, uh, it, well, in, in one we have to steady the ship. <laughs> yes. Uh, Kenya as a ship has not sunk, irrespective of uh, mm -hmm. the childish play uh, that has been boring holes in the ship mm. <laughs> in all the corners. Uh, it still has survived and has brought us to this place. Mm. And it's just fair enough that we look into uh, the future in the eye and not take the path of least resistance. Yeah. Because change won't just come because of convenience, mm -hmm. because it's easy, because we like it, or because it's favoring us. Uh, there are certain sacrifices we are going to take. Mm. And that I agree with the Mugambi, uh, that uh, uh, there are challenges. We have to still campaign, of course, with various different tactics. Mm -hmm. okay. And yeah. uh, us, as uh, the, uh, taking that underdog tag, or tag, mm. uh, it is not new. The underdog tag has always been there. Even the best-selling stories are those <laughs> tricks are stories where it is a hare we carry the day, not the lion, not the elephant. Yes. So not we are presented with such a, a scenario again in Kenya. Okay. And it is a time to rewrite that history, mm. and I would invite you to be part of that history as we drive this vehicle. Thank, uh, you. thank you, my brother. I'll thank be you, steering just Justice and Freedom okay. Party. <laughs> and I invite aspirants. I invite you. If they fail you, I will not fail you. I'll give you a direct ticket. We don't like no, no. so much, Victor. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you so much for being a part of this show. We value your valid you know, opinion for this particular show. We'll be speaking to Justice, uh, Justice Juma, who is the party leader of Justice and Freedom Party of Kenya. Dr. Akura Ukot. Uh, of the Third Way Alliance as well as uh, Gitonga here, Bukunji, who is vying for the member of National Assembly Manyata constituency in Embu County. Thank you as a viewer. Meanwhile, uh, very briefly, we'll be taking you to Kenya School of Government once the president arrives there and we'll give you those live links. Thank you so much for being a part of this show. My name is Victor Lo. Have a good morning.